Other people's views and troubles can be contagious. Don't sabotage yourself by unwittingly adopting negative, unproductive attitudes through your associations with others. People are not disturbed by things, but by the views they take of them. To accuse others for one's own misfortune is a sign of want of education. To accuse oneself shows that one's education has begun. To accuse neither oneself nor others shows that one's education is complete. I laugh at those who think they can damage me. They do not know who I am. They do not know what I think. They cannot even touch the things which are really mine and with which I live. Nature hath given men one tongue but two ears, that we may hear from others twice as much as we speak. Attach yourself to what is spiritually superior, regardless of what other people think or do. Hold to your true aspirations, no matter what is going on around you. Seek not the good in external things, seek it in yourselves. The greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. Skillful pilots gain their reputation from storms and tempests. He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. Remember, it is not enough to be hit or insulted to be harmed. You must believe that you are being harmed. If someone succeeds in provoking you, realize that your mind is complicit in the provocation, which is why it is essential that we not respond impulsively to impressions. Take a moment before reacting, and you will find it easier to maintain control. God has entrusted me with myself. No man is free who is not a master of himself. A man should so live that his happiness shall depend as little as possible on external things. The world turns aside to let any man pass who knows where he is going. Some things are in our control and others not. Things in our control are opinion, pursuit, desire, aversion, and, in a word, whatever are our own actions. Things not in our control are body, property, reputation, command, and in one word, whatever are not our actions. The things in our control are by nature free, unrestrained, unhindered, but not those in our control are weak, slavish, restrained, belonging to others. Remember then that if you suppose that things which are slavish by nature are also free, and what that belongs to others is your own, then you will be hindered, you will lament, you will be disturbed, and you will find fault both with gods and men. But if you suppose that only to be your own which is your own, and what belongs to others such as it really is, then no one will ever compel you or restrain you. Further, you will find fault with no one or accuse no one. You will do nothing against your will. No one will hurt you, you will have no enemies, and you will not be harmed. I must die. Must I then die lamenting? I must be put in chains. Must I then also lament? I must go into exile. Does any man then hinder me from going with smiles and cheerfulness and contentment? If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid with regard to external things. Don't wish to be thought to know anything. And even if you appear to be somebody important to others, distrust yourself. For it is difficult to both keep your faculty of choice in a state of comfortable to nature and at the same time acquire external things. But while you are careful about the one, you must of necessity neglect the other. It is not so much what happens to you as how you think about what happens.
remember that you ought to behave in life as you would at a banquet. As something is being passed around, it comes to you. Stretch out your hand. Take a portion of it politely. It passes on. Do not detain it. Or it has not come to you yet. Do not project your desire to meet it, but wait until it comes in front of you. So act toward children. So toward a wife. So toward office. So toward wealth. Difficulty shows what men are. Therefore, when a difficulty falls upon you, remember that God, like a trainer of wrestlers, has matched you with a rough young man. Why? So that you may become an Olympic conqueror. But it is not accomplished without sweat. These reasonings are unconnected. I am richer than you, therefore I am better. I am more eloquent than you, therefore I am better. The connection is rather this. I am richer than you, therefore my property is greater than yours. I am more eloquent than you, therefore my style is better than yours. But you, after all, are neither property nor style. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content.